Hey guys, this is Frugal Nisa and I just got back from, not Sprouts, but I just got back from Aldi's. Y'all, I have been loving this store. I am so late to the Aldi's game. Quick question, which do you say, Aldi's or Aldi's? I think it's a Jersey thing saying Aldi's, but I say Aldi's. At any rate, I am just discovering this store over the past spring and summer months. We have one in my area now and I have been loving it. So much so, y'all, that it has replaced my local grocery store. And I'm telling you, a lot of the stuff that I was buying from my big box stores, I simply buy here, especially their fruits and veggies. I love that department. So let me show you guys. I'm doing a haul today. Before I put away the food, we are getting ready for back to school next week. And I said, let me go pick up a few staples for Mirabella's lunch. We're going to start over here with my meats. Y'all, I have been loving these chicken wings. The little drumettes. Y'all, this in an air fryer, a quick meal with a nice salad, perfect. Throw some blue cheese or ranch, a few celery sticks, and you have a nice little snack. Getting ready to be football season, so I know I will be loving these wings all football season long. This bag is $9 and change. And again, I picked up two bags of that. Over here... I have been purchasing meat there. I have no problem with purchasing my meats from all these. I like the variety of uh, ground beef that has, you know, 80% lean and 20% fat. I, as you can see, I spent $7.96 for that. Over here, I picked up some cheese. Now, I can't do the non-craft cheese yet. I might, because guess what? I ended up picking up my regular craft tree cheese slices, okay? And then I said, you know what? Let me try their cheese. This is a Happy Farms brand. Let me know if you actually use all these cheeses. We're going to taste this again. Mirabella likes making different things for lunch, and sometimes she will slice up, you know, cheese that I normally get the, um, what brand do we get? Uh, I can't think of it. Anyway, I can't think of the, brand, the, the name brand I usually get. Oh, the Cracker Barrel brand. Yeah. Very, very expensive unless you get it on sale, but we'll see if she likes this and guess what if she doesn't all these has a really really good return policy if you don't like it you can return it just bring the package back and they'll give you your money back for it okay so yeah we'll see how that tastes and speaking of returning i'm gonna have to return this i like the half and half but y'all fat free half and half uh -uh, can't do it so i'm gonna have to return that i picked this up by mistake but this is their brand um half and half and we you know really been enjoying that my eggs were 76 cents for a dozen, so I picked up two dozens of eggs. We do the 2% milk, picked up one of those. Back here, another item, surprisingly, that uh, Mirabella's been liking, so did Magnolia when she was home, the 20 hash brown patties. Putting that in the air fryer, perfect. Oh my goodness, love these. The garlic chicken, I picked up three bags of these, which is a meal for us and then some, so I like making three whole bags for myself, Artie, and even Magnolia when she's here, and I still have a little bit of leftover, so yeah, the garlic chicken is good in this particular brand. The Alfredo chicken is excellent. I docker it up by putting a little bit of butter in it, sometimes a few extra seasonings. I think I picked up three bags of the Alfredo. Yeah, I picked up three bags of the Alfredo. And since I thought those two items were really good, I said, let me give this a try. These are the original meatballs by the same brand. So we shall see if my family likes those. I, I think they probably will. Over here, these little chicken uh, breasts, fully cooked strips. I like putting these in salads sometimes. I like putting these in these little pasta dishes to add extra meat. I picked up two packages of those. And I used to purchase this from my BJ's, but this is definitely a better buy. And the meat tastes, you know, comparable to the Purdue, the Purdue chicken that I was picking up in my BJ's. For sandwiches, Mirabella likes the honey ham, the uncured honey ham. I picked up a package of those. She likes taking the baby carrots. These are only like 95 cents a package. I picked up some celery. I picked up a cucumber. I'm always buying these bags of spinach. Sometimes they have them on sale and sometimes they don't. But when they're not on sale, the price is still, I think, okay. I picked up four bags of those because sometimes I'll just take two bags of spinach and cook, you know, as a side veggie. 
but Artie uses this in his smoothie and Mirabella actually likes to mix her greens like spinach with the Italian salad. And I also picked up two bags of Italian salad. Over here, these old snaps I thought would be nice to put in her lunch bag. I've seen these in the Dollar Tree and this was a dollar and change for an individual one. But what I decided to do was pick up a pack of six. This was $4 and change. Something different to put in her lunch this school year. More pickles, just some kosher deal sandwich slices. I've had the spears and I think these sandwich slices are gonna be good on sandwiches. I told you another item that I like picking up are the fruits. I like doing my berries in a uh, plain yogurt. So I picked up some raspberries and blackberries. The grapes were on sale. So I picked up a bag of grapes. Pick up two containers of strawberries, two containers of blueberries, the caracara oranges. I picked up a mango, a bag of lemons, and look at these beautiful Granny Smith apples. Wow, four Granny Smith apples. The dry cherries are mine. I like, you know, using this with my walnuts and pecans for just a treat. Some mandarin oranges. These are excellent to put in your lunches. And I also picked up the cherry mixed fruit. Picked up some applesauce. No high fructose corn syrup. Great for lunches. Bananas. Picked up two packages of the original seasoning uh, for chili. I like using these to cook with, the ranch salad dressing and seasoning mix. I picked up two packages of those. These are really good the last time I bought it. They are real bacon bits, fully cooked. This is great on salads and on, um, what else did I put it on? Oh, like a baked potato and sour cream. Really, really good. I like the buttermilk ranch. I like the regular ranch, but this buttermilk ranch was really good on a salad, so I like picking that up. Mirabella likes the French vanilla cappuccino. This comes with 12 K-Cups. I picked up some plain bread crumbs. Another, you know, trying to spice up her lunch. Mirabella's been on Pinterest. Uh, she picked up these black beans, which are organic. They have a ton of the Simply Nature organic items in Aldi. So we'll see what she comes up with. She likes black beans, and I think the recipe called for uh, some tortilla chips, black beans, and something else. So we'll see if she likes that. I picked up two containers or two cans of those. Now, y'all, this has really shocked me. This brand of uh, pasta sauce, oh my goodness, I love it, y'all. It's only like 85 cents for 20, what's that? 85 cents for 24 full ounces. Y'all know I doctor up my sauces anyway, and when I get finished with this, my family loves it. I picked up the tomato, onion, and garlic, and I also picked up the mushroom flavor. Again, add your own spices, you know, put some real tomato, garlic, and onion in it, chop it up. Perfect, 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 okay? And let's see what else over here. I have this sprouts bag because I wanted to tell you guys, a lot of the breads in my Aldi's are the same breads being sold at my local sprouts for a lot more. Those organic, whole nature uh, oat breads and stuff. Yeah, my Aldi's has it. And in Sprouts, they are like double the price almost, okay? But I picked up some honey wheat, the cinnamon raisin, some Pop-Tarts, and we've never tried the croissants, but I bet you we're gonna like them. So, you know, Mirabella, you know, might wanna make a sandwich or breakfast sandwich in the morning or possibly, uh, you know, taking that ham on a croissant for lunch. That's gonna be perfect. And another item, fell in love with these also, the Always, these are comparable to the Always. Y'all, I really like these, okay? And they're always out of the yellow package. So whenever I see them, I always pick them up. And that is it, guys, what I picked up from all these today. Now, to make our shopping complete, I have to still go back to my local BJ's. And when I do, I'll go back and I'll take this back. I spent today $153.40. Way to go, all these. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.